Hi up everyone, I'm Changi Wright. We're doing this uh, bit of a project in my house. We're doing feather edge boarding. So what we need to do for feather edge boarding is this. Let me show you. So I've done these today. Step one, dig your holes. All I do is support the post, string a line through the top, right the way down. Support your post with a bit of batten. Stick that on the ground or you can clamp it. 500 deep miners because I've got another 100 mil hour core going on here. So I've concreted them in with concrete, not post mix. I don't like post mix. Um, and how I mix my concrete, I just use my tub. Five bags of ballast to one bag of cement. That's a nice strong mix that is. Uh, bang that in, mix it up, shove it in, 500 deep. These posts are 2.4 long. So if you buy 2.4, if you buy a 2.4 post and then use a 1800 feather edge board that's your 600 so 600 down 1800 above uh, set the line all the way across then you get to nailing what you want to use i'm using a roll plug nailer nail gun uh, these are 50 mil 50 mil Timco, the ring nail, uh, they're up for outdoor use. That's the smallest one that they do, which is actually sufficient. And then these are 1800 feather edge boarding, tantalized, all the materials tantalized because it's outdoor. And then what you do is you set your line up across the top. I've put 3 by 2 tantalized uh, pieces on, these are 90 mil. It's a 90 mil nail straight through into this 75 by 75 post. And all you do is, I'll show you now, you hold it up. Uh, I'm going to do this and hold it. I'll show you. Oh, I'll just put that there. You should be able to see me. I quickly use this method. And I just eye it up. Eye it up. Roughly 25 mil overlap. And you need to make sure that... The nail isn't going into the previous board. The nail should be going just past the board so it doesn't go into this previous one to allow for expansion. And then all I do is whip me little boat level out in the middle, give it a shimmy across where it needs to be. And that's it. Every time. Same operation. Same operation every time, and that's all you need to do. So, if you missed it first time, I'll just do it again so you can see. I don't know how good you can see this, but all I'm going to do is take this in and hold it up towards the line, roughly 25 mil because it's a fence after all, away from that knot. Uh, this one down there. I normally have that in my pockets. Kick that over. Plant, yeah. Job done. Every time, all the way down. And that. has got a gap underneath the fence because I'm raising all this. This is having Astro Turf in. Well, that looks a lot nicer now. Uh, the framework, I'm not bothered on the other side because the, that's the neighbour that I don't get on with, so... Uh, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back for me, but that looks lovely. And this all over this area is going to be um, a workshop. And then all I'm going to do is put sleepers across the bottom of here. And then run me artificial grass up to this. Right, that's it. Uh, that's one side. The fence is complete, it's just the sleepers that need to go underneath it for the, uh, the Astro tier, but that's it. So I put the post in last night, and then I've done all that fence all the way down. Lovely job. Doesn't look so high from up here, but... Yeah, when you stand down here and have a look, I'll stand up against it. 
and you can see how high I am. That's how much I've dug out. <laughs>